party. And this is my first debut out. And I can do it for these ladies. I tell you what, for this kind of party, woman's night out. Don't start robbing banks because you go to Fort Knox for sure, because this is a horrendous out, uh, ordeal. Anyway, I'm from the South, where uh, the early virgins were ugly 13 year olds that could outrun their mothers. <laughs> anyway, and I was a, and as a nurse, uh, we come out of the emergency room and doctor, I say, doctor, do you have, you have a rectal thermometer in your pocket? He says, some asshole's got my pen. <laughs> so we'll start off with a little joke like that. I think you ladies will enjoy. This guy's laying in bed, he and his wife are laying in bed, and he starts rubbing between your thighs and your boobs and all over. She's all excited and everything. And he quits. She goes, would you quit? He said, I found the remote. <laughs> Speaking of remotes, the guy's got the remote and he's going, porno, fishing, porno, fishing, porno. She says, will you leave it on, on porno, on fishing? You know how to fish. No, when you leave it on porno, you know how to fish. Alright, don't go on me yet. I'm not yet. Not yet. So anyway, uh, there's these three dogs. They're at the vet's office. Since I'm an animal person, I thought you'd like the vet. Three dogs. One's a little dog. It's a middle dog. It's a great thing. So the middle dog says, little dog, he says, um, what ten for? And he goes, oh man, I've been peeing on stuff, in trouble all the time, so he says, I decided to whack my movie and I'd be better. Says, what about you? He says, second dog says, the middle dog says, well, about the same thing, digging holes, and peeing on stuff. It's been a nuisance, so I thought, if they whack my movie, yeah, I'd be nice. He looked at the great day and says, what about you, big fella? He says, oh, it's a sad story. He says, my master is so good to me. She does everything for me so well. And I love her so much. But she's been in the refrigerator, and I've mounted her. And the other two says, hey, you're getting your wee-wee whack. He says, no, I'm coming in for a nail trim. That is funny, isn't it? These reality today. These three couples, getting off that subject, we got to get away from that. These three couples want to belong to church. The priest said the only way you could belong to church is if you're going to have sex for one month. They said, okay. So they came back after a month. The first couple says, we didn't have sex. He says, welcome to the church. He says, the couple, second couple says, we didn't either. He said, come on down. Third couple guys says, we didn't make it. First week without sex was unbearable. Second week, I thought I was going to die. Third week, she bent over the refrigerator and the freezer. I jumped right on her. He says, you can't come into church. He says, we can't go to Ralph's either. <laughs> you girls know what the difference between a hold up and a stick up is? The difference between a hold up and a stick up? Age. <laughs> age, age. The difference between medium and rare? This is medium, this is rare. <laughs> this guy is standing there. He's standing there. The blind guy standing there waiting for the light to change with his dog. All of a sudden the dog just lifts his leg and just pee all over this guy. And the guy reaches in his the blind guy reaches in his pocket and he gets a milk bone and gives to the dog. The guy next to him says, Wait, you got a dog and milk bone for you. Just peed all over your leg. He says, I want to find his mouth so I can kick his ass. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know why fly, male fly attendants? Always walk with her tray like this. Because there's not enough room to do this. <laughs> so it's okay, the ladies. This is about the end for me because I, you guys have so much more to do. And stuff, so. Why they can't wear mini skirts in Hollywood? Their balls show. <laughs> so, you want to see the second act? It's down here at the bar, and I'll be glad to get you a drink. Thank you so much, guys.